prioritization of coin holders. We've prioritized existing coin holders to ensure they remain at the heart of this transition. Our phased coin release plan will be designed to reward early adopters and long-term holders. The release will be conducted in such a way that ensures fair distribution, preventing any single party from having too much influence on the price. The phased coin release plan ensures that participants who invested into L1X in the private sale, public sale, rights issue, pre-sale to DEX and CEX buyers are prioritized over bonus coin holders. Phased coin release plan. Our phased coin release plan will roll out L1X tokens in a controlled manner. The process will begin gradually with the initial release focusing on key liquidity pools and exchanges to allow for a smooth transition onto DEXs. This approach helps avoid flooding the market with tokens, which could negatively impact the token's value. Selling into the DEX is phased and strategically prioritized to ensure fair and efficient allocation. In months one and two, 100% of coins sold into the DEX will be allocated to category A, which includes private sale, public sale, rights issue, and pre-sale to DEX and CEX buyers. This prioritizes high priority categories to maximize liquidity. In months three to 12, category B, comprising developers, node operators, and performance airdrop recipients, will receive 30% of the allocation pool. Post 12 months, category C, consisting of previous bonus coin holders, will be allocated 10% of the sale event pool. This phased approach ensures that each category receives a fair and timely distribution based on its priority and contribution. Dynamic Coin Release Algorithm. One of the most important tools we've developed to ensure the health and stability of L1X is our dy dynamic coin release algorithm. This algorithm is designed to monitor market conditions and adjust the rate at which coins are released based on the current price, trading volume, and liquidity. Let's break down the key components of this algorithm and the formulas that power it. Volume Contribution. The volume contribution formula ensures that the coin release accelerates when there is higher trading volume, addressing immediate demand. This takes into consideration the depth of the liquidity pools at every step and the price impact that can be caused. The goal is to increase the trading volume and gradually release coins that have had the least price impact possible. The formula. The formula contribution equals pool trading volume divided by total pool volume. Price change contribution. If the price of L1X changes rapidly, it may indicate high market volatility. The price change contribution formula helps monitor this and pauses or reduces coins releases to prevent destabilizing the price beyond an acceptable price range. The formula, price change equals P current minus P previous, divided by P previous. If this price change exceeds a certain threshold, the algorithm will reduce or pause the coin release to stabilize the price. Liquidity adjustment factor. The liquidity adjustment factor ensures that the rate of release is aligned with the liquidity capacity of the market, helping prevent flooding the market with coins that could lead to price volatility. The formula. Liquidity adjustment factor equals total liquidity divided by liquidity threshold. Where total liquidity equals USDC reserve plus the L1X reserve times P current. Net buy sell pressure. The net buy sell pressure formula is another important component. It compares the amount of buying versus selling activity in the market. If the market is experiencing more buying than selling, the algorithm will increase the coin release. Conversely, if there's more selling pressure, the release will be reduced or stopped. The formula. Net buy pressure equals USDC inflow minus USDC outflow. Price Adjustment Multiplier Lastly, the Price Adjustment Multiplier dynamically adjusts the release based on the price of the token in relation to the target price. If the price goes above or below the acceptable range, the coin release will be restricted. The formula Price Adjustment Multiplier equals 1 plus P current minus P floor divided by P ceiling minus P floor. If P floor is less than or equal to P current or less than or equal to P ceiling, price adjustment multiplier equals zero if P current is less than P floor. Price adjustment multiplier equals cap value if P current is greater than P ceiling. This ensures that the coin releases are limited if the price goes below the floor 15 cents or above the ceiling, preventing runaway price changes. Let's take an example. 
If the current price of L1X is 17 cents, the market is liquid and the coin release is an average rate. The formula would adjust the release to maintain stability, bringing the price closer to the target value that is set dynamically. On the flip side, if the price drops below 15 cents, the algorithm will reduce the coin release to allow the price to recover. Let's talk about the user weightage and allocation section, a system designed to fairly distribute coins within each category. We'll walk you through the process step by step with a detailed example. In our allocation system, coins are distributed using two methods. Weightage-based allocation, where the distribution is proportional to each user's holdings. Equal distribution, where coins are divided equally among all users. The final allocation for a user combines these two methods. Equations for allocation. Here's how it works. Weighted allocation uses coins divided by total coins in the category times the weighted pool. Equal distribution allocation. Equal pool divided by the total number of users. And the final allocation is the weighted allocation plus equal distribution allocation. An example calculation. Let's use a scenario for category A in phase two. Total coins available, 1,000 coins. The weighted pool, 25% or 250 coins. The equal pool, 75% or 750 coins. We have four users with the following holdings. User A with 100 coins, user B 200 coins, user C 25 coins, and user D 40 coins. The total user holdings is 100 plus 200 plus 25 plus 40 equals 365 coins. Step one, weighted allocation. The 250 coin weighted pool is distributed proportionately. User A, 100 divided by 365 times 250 equals 68.49 coins. User B, 200 divided by 365 times 250 equals 136.99 coins. User C, 25 divided by 365 times 250 equals 17.12 coins. And user D, 40 divided by 365 times 250 equals 27.4 coins. Step two, equal distribution allocation. The 750 coin equal pool is divided equally. The total number of users, four. Each user receives 750 divided by four which equals 187.5 coins. Exhaustive allocation. Let's allocate coins until each user's total holdings are exhausted. User A, total holdings, 100 coins. Weighted allocation, 68.49 coins. Additional coins from the equal pool, 31.51 coins. Total allocation, 100 coins, which is exhausted. The remaining equal pool, is 155.99 coins. User B, total holdings, 200 coins. The weighted allocation is 136.99 coins. Additional coins from the equal pool is 63.01 coins. The total allocation, 200 coins, which is exhausted. Remaining equal pool is 124.49 coins. User C, total holdings, 25 coins. Weighted allocation is 17.12 coins. Additional coins from equal pool is 7.88 coins. Total allocation, 25, 25 coins, exhausted. The remaining equal pool is 179.62 coins. User D, total holdings, 40 coins. Weighted allocation, 27.40 coins. Additional coins from the equal pool is 12.60 coins. Total allocation, 40 coins, exhausted. Remaining equal pool, 174.90 coins. Fairness in allocation. This approach promotes fairness in three ways. Prioritize liquidity. High priority categories receive liquidity first. Proportional distribution. Larger holders get a proportionally larger share through weighted allocation. Inclusivity. Smaller holders benefit from the equal distribution ensuring everyone can 
fully exhaust their holdings. By combining these methods, we ensure a balanced and equitable distribution of coins for all users.